Good afternoon, um, everybody. Um, my name is Oscar with the City of Porterville, Associate Planner in the Planning Division. I'm going to go ahead and start our project review committee meeting today at 1.32 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and start roll call. We're joined by, again, myself, Oscar Chapita, the Associate Planner. We're also joined by uh, Jeff Fornio, the City Planner. Uh, we're also joined by Jed Hackett, the assistant uh, planner. Uh, we're also joined by Javier Sanchez, the engineering and project management director. We're also joined by James Wickersham, the chief building inspector. Also joined by uh, David Payne uh, from Public Works. Um, that's gonna be all from the, from staff. I'm gonna go ahead and um, open oral communications. Uh, this is the opportunity for members of the public to address the committee on any matter uh, pertaining to project review. Um, hearing none, I'm gonna go ahead and um, those um, oral communications. So today for project review committee, we have one item, which is project, which is PRC number 2022-010 for Ono Hawaiian Barbecue. I'm gonna go ahead and um, pass it on to Jed Hackett, the project planner from uh, planning in order to um, outline comments. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, so from planning's uh, perspective, there are not a whole lot of comments, given that this is already uh, essentially a built out, uh, aside from the building, a built out shopping center. So we don't have any comments as far as landscaping and parking because everything's already existing. Um, for us, the main comment will be coming from the fact that this is a part of an already approved three phase development master plan. Uh, as approved by Reso 114 from 2006, uh, as part of the approval of the River Walk Shopping Center, uh, part of the approval designs were certain out the shopping center. Um, so for the Ono Hawaiian Barbecue a building, uh, for example, we would like to see an incorporation of a tiled roof along the where Oscar is showing along the Ono Hawaiian roof uh, sign area, as well as an incorporation of a stone veneer base along the base of the building, similar to what's existing on all the other uh, commercial structures within the shopping center that's existing. Um, aside from that, th those are really the only two additions we would need to see to the building design to make it architecturally compatible with the existing uh, commercial uh, development. Um, aside from that, that is that is essentially all the comments that planning has. Uh, we've already worked through with the applicant the six car queuing stack for the drive through. Um, because this is a smaller uh, building footprint than was approved in 2006, we, there's no need for a specific plan amendment. Uh, so really, uh, after today's PRC, pending any major comments from other departments, uh, this uh, project should be good to go to building a permit. Uh, so with that, I pass it on back to Oscar. Excuse me, Oscar, should I be asking questions from each, uh, each city representative or just wait till the end? Um, either or, um, we can wait till the end. Um, that way we could just uh, hear each department's um, um, comments and yeah, um, whichever works best for you. If you have any planning questions at this time, you could go ahead and direct them towards uh, Jed and myself. Um, or if you want to wait till we hear every department's um, comments. I don't think I was given anything from the shopping center for those finishes. So if you guys can give me the tile you're looking for and the uh, and the, the stone on the bottom, I don't think that's going to be a problem, guys. I just want to make sure that I get something that's in the right color scheme. Of course, yes, sure. we, we do have that um, on hand and we'll be more than uh, gladly to provide those samples for you. Beautiful, thank you. I told, I told them you were very reasonable, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I am, Jeff. I thought for sure you would have told him, don't talk to this guy, he's a pain in the ass, so. 
relatively friendly. Cool. Next, I'm good for that one. Thank you. Uh, moving along um, with, um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, go over fire department's comments from Clayton, which states that the uh, fire extinguisher shall be placed to comply with the current adopted edition of the California Fire Code. Uh, Knox box access required for this uh, facility in which he provided um, uh, a website in which uh, you could uh, apply for that. Also, Address numbers shall be posted on the building and shall be visible from the street. Install numbers shall contrast with their background. And uh, those were all comments, um, the only comments fire department had. Did you happen to give us the height for the Knox box, Oscar? Um, I could, I, we, it's about six feet. Good. Because we just had one up in Stockton where they made us put it to 13 feet when the fire marshal comes out to do the final inspection. He goes, how am I supposed to reach up there and get it? I go, you got ladders on the truck. No, we wanted it six feet. So that's a good thing. Let's start with it the right place already. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you. And, and that was James Wickersham with our building division. Uh, I think we can go ahead and um, pass it on to James. Yeah. You know, I don't have much. Uh, I can give you some standard comments you'll get uh, in the PRC letter. Um, and that, that'll also um, that'll also let you know on if you wanna submit by e-submittal or if you want to submit a uh, hard copy, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know on all that. Um, we don't allow any deferred items, FYI. So everything has to be included in, in, in the submittal. Like the hood system, if if you got a hood system, I'm guessing um, stuff like that. Um, the only other thing I don't see just glanced in here is um, path of travel from the sidewalk to the front door, unless I'm missing it. It goes right through the drive-through lane, James. Oh, I see it right there. Okay. Oh, gotcha. And that. From the sidewalk, can you back out a little bit? It's right there on the, to the right of the drive approach. But it does a funny angle across the driveway, James. I think we better fix that. You see it's right up here? Go out and go up to the driveway. It's on the right-hand side of the drive approach. But it's supposed to connect to that big thing on the other side of the property line, but that doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to see if I can come up with a better way. Okay, yeah. Um, other than that, not, you know, nothing major, just some standard comments that, that I'll send your way. Thank you, James. Uh -huh. uh, moving along with the uh, engineering department with Javier. All right. Uh, for engineering, all the improvements are in. Uh, it really just comes down to connecting to utilities and There'll be some on-site MS4 measures you got to address uh, as part of the state's stormwater standards. Uh, so, uh, but we'll put that in the comments. Does, uh, otherwise, that what? Does engineering or building department require a roof over top of that trash enclosure since I'm moving it? Uh, no. Because the existing one doesn't have a roof on it, but I have to relocate it. So I just want to make sure that if I relocate it, if I don't have to, if I don't have to put it, that's good because it turns into a nice little shade place for anybody that's homeless and that's not the best thing. So if I may comment, um, I'm Brianna, I'm with the refuse department. Uh, that will need to be a three bin trash enclosure. Oh, okay. For okay. state mandate. So you want the, you want the green one and then a recycle and then a waste. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Brianna. And yes, that was Brianna with uh, Field Services. Um, I believe that's all. I'm not sure if David had any comments. Uh, no, not not too many. Just like Javier said, connected to the utilities. You know, you. 
be required to have a ded dedicated uh, domestic service with a backflow device and and then a, a dedicated additional service for landscape, also protected by a RP backflow device. And that'd be about it. No gray water available. What was that? I'm sorry. No, no gray water available. No. So we'll just just do a landscape circuit off the off the standard domestic. Just put it on a separate line. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, uh, David. Um, so Robert, any questions for Steph? Um. Didn't hear anything on fire department about fire sprinklers. So we're under the square footage, no fire sprinklers, I believe. And they didn't put anything on there about it, right? Yeah, so anything under 5,000 square feet or an occupant load of over 100. So I'll keep my occupant load under 100 and I'm under the square footage, so, okay. Yeah, an occupant load will be based off of, you know, your floor plan layout and seating. Correct, they don't have that many in there, so. Um, I'll work on that ADA path of travel. Like Jed said and Oscar, we already fixed the, the six car stack. Um, I'm relocated the trash enclosure. I said that already. I'll just incorporate my landscaping as best as I can into what we've got. And other than that, um, no problems with the roof access ladder on the outside of the building as long as they put a protective screen over it. They asked me about it to see if we could do it or not. I can I can probably find a home inside if I have to, but um, they're doing a little reconfiguration on the inside of the building that it might be moving out. Oscar, do you guys have anything restricting that? No, just making sure. Um, we'll, we'll provide a comment on that. Um, I think there's something that would have to be architecturally compatible with the building, maybe paint and color uh, screening. Uh, I'll look into that. Okay. And if I was going to do it, Oscar, I'm going to end up putting it on the back so that it's kind of out of the way. Narrow side of the building, so it's not visible from Highway 190. Okay. Other than that, I think I'm good. Okay. I did find a comment. Um, that says roof access ladders and fire sprinkler risers shall be located internally as allowed by the California Building Code. Okay, so roof ladder inside. And we'll add that to our comments on the plan. Okay. And as long as I stay under 100, I don't have uh, fire sprinklers, so I don't have to worry about trying to conceal that one. That's a bigger problem than the ladder. Okay, so just to clarify, I do not need to go through any more title ones. I can go on to CDs and we'll uh, resolve all this with my uh, construction documents and I will definitely be doing a uh, an online submittal. We love those. Sounds good. Thank you, Robert. Alrighty, thank and, you, everybody. And these comments, just uh, so you know, these comments will be compiled in a letter and hopefully get that out to you in about two to four weeks. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank See you. you. Bye.